So here's the Department of Villainy Tree in position. It's doing its thing next to the other exhibits around here in the town hall. And it's based on that LED neon on an, an aluminium frame and with a sort of steel grid backing, which I'll show you in a second. It's quite heavily animated. It starts off with this sort of lightning effect in the star. The tree drops down, then it just bursts into life. It flashes lights in the middle of the tree. Then it fills the tree down, then does a load of sequence uh, animations, which will repeat for a multiple number of times. The next one is the random data falling down the tree. It's just from a randomizer. Then the start at the top flashes, and then the tree will unbuild, and the sequence will start again. And the strobing of the, the star at the top, the sort of emulating it, powering up, is actually using the same linear feedback shift register randomizer. So let's go up close. Let's hope the focus here works. I think it's going to work. So what we have here, we have an aluminium frame with plastic inserts that hold it together. On the back of it, there is a welded steel mesh. That was quite hard to get. That was one of the, it took the longest to get. The aluminium uh, had to get shipped over to that man, which is a bit annoying because it was really expensive to ship. Not as expensive. The aluminium itself cost about uh, something like £40 for uh, four two-metre sections. But the shipping was £250 from one company who didn't end up being used. So um, it goes together and there's, I also put some uh, reinforcing plates in the bottom just to keep it absolutely rigid and vertical. It uses a meanwell transformer. The reason I chose the meanwell transformer is because it's predictable, it's safe, it's an unknown variable. And of course we've got the controller up here with all the cable looms going into it. The mesh, the close fit mesh, allows the neon, the LED neon to be uh, put on in shapes but also repositioned. So after this has been used, after this year, this will all get stripped off and it will get done again next year. Things worthy of note, the termination, the green neon is, well, the green LED neon has pins pushed down the end, plus the, uh, some restraint uh, sleeving and then the cable tie around the end. The thinner stuff, which is quite an interesting material, has the uh, connections sorted directly around, a bit of resin for strength and then uh, uh, some strain relief in the cable to protect it from damage. The star is the only bit that's on a metal frame. It's an existing star-shaped uh, steel frame at the top that that was put onto it. Well, that's quite ferocious. The LED strings were 300 LED sets, but because I turned the voltage in this transformer in the back here, you can turn the voltage down to, well, I did turn the voltage down to 11 volts, just to basically take the strain off the, the LED to make it slightly, somewhat less bright, because it was really excessively ferocious and it'll last longer as a result of that. But because these strings of LEDs were 12 volt and they were actually, they're 300 string sets, but it's composed of uh, four 75 LED sets where you've got the 75 LEDs in parallel and those four strings wired in series to make up the 12 volts with no other resistor. It came with a 12 volt power supply. Um, I used, uh, I actually cut one of the 75 LED sections off this and then uh, added resistors. Uh, op uh, resistors in the socket so it can be adjusted and that allows the intensity to be adjusted. And the same with the, the warm height ones are also a 300 set that was cut down by 75 LEDs to 225 LED set. Uh, is that about it? I think it is. Oh, nice, nice reflection. That kind of shows the effect quite well. Actually, the reflection looks really good. It's the Department of Villainy controller. Um, they didn't include our slogan, which is turn to crime for a fabulous time. So there we go. That's it. That is it in position and how it finally looked.